Okay, today we're making a video on Devon Energy, DVN, because it's down 13% uh, today on a negative earnings miss. So as you can see, down $100, down 13%, $100. Of the 400 that we're down today, okay, out of all the hundreds of thousands we have invested, little old Devin, $721 worth. It accounts for 25% of my day's uh, losses, uh, which is amazing for having only $700 in it compared to the others being hundreds of thousands. But uh, now what can we do with this? Do we uh, uh, freak out uh, and uh, sell Devin right away on the weakness? Uh, let's look into it. So I want to add sh to shares because it, it is an S&P name. And it satisfies our needs for oil and gas exposure. So uh, we have everyone has to have the 10 sectors in their portfolio, and energy being one of them. And oil and gas is a subsector to energy. We have AMSA for pipelines, as you've seen in <clears throat> excuse me, prior videos. But Devon is oil and gas, and they have a little bit more growth and movement in their stock. So that's why $1,000 worth, or 700 like you saw in Devon approximately, that we have, can actually move quite large for us um, because it's pretty volatile. Uh, so it has an 8% dividend here. I think it got cut, and that's why uh, the stock fell. You know, I think this dividend is still northwards of 6%. And on today's fall, it's going to be worth more than that, perhaps. Um, so it also had disappointing earnings, but a lot of it was weather related. So you tend to buy on those types of news announcements because that's temporary. And, uh, they still made, you know, billions in, uh, free cash flow, and they're distributing it to investors. So we're in it because of the dividend and it gives us oil and gas exposure. Everything we do on this, uh, channel is dedicated to dividends and passive income. And we don't like stocks because you can't put all your money in it. You could lose. Look at Devin. Today's a prime example. If I had put more money in it, we'd be hurting significantly. And that's why our performance is beating the S&P because we don't put it in stocks. We put it in the indexes, uh, but we leverage it. So of course you're going to beat the S&P. So here's Devin on a max chart. Uh, it's still cheap if you look at it from a full time uh, time frame. 2008, it was at 120. And if we go to the 2016 highs, which is where oil and gas took its big plunge from the Saudi announcements um, and all the OPEC chaos, uh, as the, everyone tried to flood the market and lower energy prices. Uh, 680 was the, the resistance. 2010, it was almost 100. 2014, 80, and now we're right back at that resistance, 80. So this is probably just a typical, this is just a healthy digestion uh, of Devin. And you can say whatever, you can attribute the pullback to the news and, and a miss on the earnings, but that seemed re relatively minor. It, it just seems like people are taking profits. It's up huge from the lows. In 2020, it was uh, in the teens. And and then from 2021, it went from 20 to 40, 40 days. So this thing is up 300%. You know, it's, it's up a ton of money. So how are we going to play it? We're only going to add $100 to it. I know that doesn't seem like much, but when you're playing with stocks, you can't, you can't risk too much in it. Uh, I just want to show you our performance and value really quick to prove to you that even though that's down 13%, you know, we're still at 27% beating both indexes, the S&P and NASDAQ, by a handful. And that's because uh, we're, again, leveraged to the indexes. Um, so we're tied to the indexes, CLM, CRF, but we're also leveraged with this 200 grand in, in debt. Um, see, we get lots of debt to play with. You get, for every $1 you put in, you get four. So that would be 700 you know, well, I have 600,000 in purchasing power, as you can see, but off the four up top times four, that would be 1.6 million. Uh, but I am invested, so that's why it doesn't show the full amount. That's why I only have 600, let's say 600,000 purchasing power left. But we make 97,000 in income per year in dividends. So these dividends pay back. And uh, let's see, let's go to Devon. Uh, it's a C of dividend. Oh, here it is, Devon. You know, we're talking $2, you know, $2. Why would I even own that? Well, I'm not, I'm not banking on that for the, that dividend. I'm, I'm banking on, you know, these other ones that are making me 
you know, hundreds, a uh, couple thousand a month, you know, 2,800, 2,700. Uh, those are from the cornerstone funds, Sierra Wall, and those, those are four star funds that pay 20% dividends. You add up all these dividends. So, uh, down, okay, now we're down a thousand, you know, so the market is taking a little dip today, but it's holding above the 20 day moving average. Um, we've been doing past videos on that, how to play a breakout. Um, so, we're going to add to Devin because we don't care what's happening. Down 13%. It's an S&P 500 name, so of course you want to have exposure to energy uh, as one of your 10 sectors in the market. Uh, so we're just going to do $100, uh, Devin, buy two, double that to four, okay, $200, buy four, Devin, place. And again, I know it seems like this is small potatoes, why even focus on Devin? Because you can't have FOMO, you need to have all the 10 sectors. Uh, for fear of missing out on <clears throat> hot trends going against you. Plus, you need to have uh, performance. You need to have correlation. And when you have the 10 sectors, energy, finance, tech, real estate, etc., et then your performance is better. And that's how we get our 27% performance is because we're so diversified. We're tied to the indexes up top through these major uh, funds, Cornerstone, uh, look at USA. These are all indexed funds tied to the indexes, but pay 10, 20 percent dividends. But then we also have stocks that are fully diversified into the 10 sectors and, and options that we sell that are fully diversified in the 10 sectors. So oil and gas is just one of the subsectors of energy. And that's how we're playing energy today is we're buying Devin on the weakness. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Thanks.